Hello, Internet. It is Tuesday, August 6. I am Chet Siegel, and there's a saw going in the background, and I have no control over when it begins or ends. Nope, it's continuing. And this is your Guyism Speed Round. The CEO of Amazon bought the Washington Post for $250 million yesterday. He qualified for free shipping through Amazon Super Savers, and his purchase should arrive within three to five business days. A pregnant woman was killed by a falling tree in Central Park, right after her husband said, don't worry, baby, I'll take care of it. Texas is running out of the drug that it uses to kill people because the drug company is uncomfortable that their drug is being used to kill people. So this may force Texas to get creative or, heaven forbid, become merciful. A new study says that access to clean water and soap can not only improve a child's hygiene, but it could also boost their growth. Because you can't grow if you're dead from dysentery. The world's very first lab-grown hamburger made from dead cow stem cells was eaten yesterday in Britain and cost over 200,000 pounds to develop. But are vegetables really that disgusting? That we'd rather eat dead cow stem cells than a fucking piece of broccoli? A Utah beauty queen was arrested for throwing homemade bombs at houses. Let's hope she makes up the points she lost in talent during the swimsuit category, or she may be out of the race for good. Once upon a time in the 60s, a man sniffed a whole bunch of glue and then murdered his entire family. Now he's a professor at a university that is letting him teach even though they know about his bloody, bloody, gluey, gluey past. My advice to his students? Keep your complaints about your grades to yourself and make sure he just sticks to staples. An eight-year-old boy drowned inside of a washing machine. His mother said in a tearful statement to the press, <laughs> but it still didn't get out that grass stain. <laughs> How do you get out grass stains? A New Jersey man has sent over 300 letters to President Obama since his reelection. Obama has written the man back only once to forward him Santa's proper address. And now, it's time for viewer inquiries. Chet, if you could have your ashes pressed and made into a record album, When Die, which album would it be and why? Well, When Die would like ashes put inside Etta James' sweetest peaches. Because that woman has the voice of an angel. What is your dream vacation? I'm torn in two different directions. The nerd in me really wants to go somewhere with like a very rich cultural heritage and like a ton of museums and be surrounded by a language that is not my own and have a lot of like intellectual discoveries. And the other part of me just wants to put my feet in the sand and always have a little cocktail with some kind of umbrella in one of my hands. So either Tokyo, Japan, because I love Japanese literature, or just literally any beach, any beach. This isn't so much a question as it is a comment that I keep receiving in various shapes and forms that I'd like to address. So like Katie did the viewer email dance on Fridays, I think you'd be good if you had something special slash quirky on Fridays. Maybe call it the Friday buzz. Every Friday you'd get buzzed on a different beer or alcohol beverage and then do the speed round. Yeah, a boozy speed round sounds great. In theory, in practice, I record these at about 10 a.m. in a tiny room by myself. So if you want me drunk while I'm doing that, it means that I will be drunk in a tiny room by myself at 10 a.m. And I'm not going to do that just yet. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's Guyism Speed Round. I have been and will continue to be Chet Siegel. If you liked what you saw, click that like button down below and shoot this link to a couple of your nearest and your dearest. If you've got any questions for me, shoot them to me at my Facebook page right here, or you can tweet them at me at Chet Siegel. Either way that suits your fancy. If you've got questions, I've got answers. So come back tomorrow for more headlines that you need to know. Hello, Internet. It is August 6th, Tuesday, July, Monday, March, June, April, Marla, Marcia, Marcy, Darcy, Marlene. I can't hear the saw in my headphones. I can just hear me in my headphones. So maybe I'm just hearing the saw inside of my mind. I'm hearing something being tortured with a saw. Isn't that scary?
Well, now I can hear someone walking in the hallway. Oh, because someone is walking in the hallway. That wasn't a hallucination. You can't d die. <laughs> yes, you can. You can super die. Everyone can die. In fact, everyone will die. Everyone who is watching this will die, and I will die. Not because I'm going to murder anybody, but because that's what living means. It means you die. It's only Tuesday, and I'm having thoughts like this. <laughs> On the Oregon Trail. No, children really die from that. Only in America is it a game where you can die from dysentery. In the rest of the world, it's just how you die. Ugh, living social. I'm never gonna do these things. Who wants to go to a fucking murder mystery dinner theater show? Not I, said the cat. Not I. Mm -hmm. I want a burrito right now.